For me, wet plate photography has become an obsession. In fact, there's no other way to do it. This is the most complicated photography technique, and it is also the oldest. My name is Stefan Kotas. I live in Indonesia, and I'm a fine art wet plate collodion photographer. I've been shooting digital for more than 10 years and never really care much about the history of photography or old techniques. But when I first came across this process, it immediately amazed me because of how unique it is. The results are so beautiful and different from anything else. What struck me the most was that you can see the image come alive right in front of your eyes. It's like magic. Wet plate collodion process is a historical technique. It comes from 1850s, from the very beginning of photography. It's a full-on chemical process where the reaction of light and silver creates a physical image. I have to work in the dark room and I mix my own chemical solutions before every shoot. And that's the hardest part. And that's also the reason why no one really does this in tropics. Because like here in Bali, the temperatures and humidity are very high and it makes the chemicals react differently. So for me, it's, it's been a really long and complicated journey. I've failed many times and there were many times I wanted to give up. The chemicals didn't work or the image wouldn't come up or it would disappear after a few hours. I was desperate. It took me many years to really figure it all out. I had to learn chemistry and I had to remake the old formulas to match the climate here. I do feel like the art of photography has changed a lot with the digital era. Before it used to be more of a craft, but now everyone has a camera and creating an image with light, we take it for granted. We do it 100 times every day and everyone is able to shoot perfect pictures even with the phone now. But with the perfection, it's like we lost a bit of the mystery. For me to take one image, it's almost half an hour and there's no room for error. Every exposure I make is meant to be the final image. No trials, no editing. And still, with the wet plate, you never really know what you're gonna get. Because unpredictability is a big part of the process and that's what intrigues me and makes it special because you never get a perfect image here. There's always some mistakes and chemical artifacts. Yeah, these are handmade images. With wet plate photography, I feel like I find my true calling as an artist. It really is a lifelong journey and I'm still just at the beginning, but getting a successful tintype for me is much more rewarding than making a digital image on a computer screen. My next projects will be focused on documenting Indonesian culture. I love Indonesia. This country is so rich with many different ethnic groups, beautiful faces and traditional costumes. My dream is to take the wooden camera, travel from one island to another and create portraits of Indonesian people. <laughs> 